Hello! Welcome back to Knee Deep. And um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm a bit embarrassed. Um, I'm also half amused. <laughs> so you know how the characters so far in the game have uh, looked like shadows. And um, you and I, uh, we probably both thought, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. It's a noir game. It's something different. Um, but yesterday I was recording the fifth episode and afterwards I thought, is it really supposed to look like that? So I went to Steam um, and actually checked out the screenshots for the very first time and it turns out, no, it's not supposed to look like that. So I <laughs> went back into the game and I checked the um, menu I, I can show you. Here in the options, um, it says shadow quality. Um, I had it on low, um, so I changed it. Now I have it on medium. Turns out if I put it on high or very high, then my um, recording program is not recording the game. Um, but yeah, I, I just, uh, be before I started recording for the very first time, I just was so excited about recording in general and also about my microphone finally working so I was more focused on the sound um, so I never tried this out but yesterday I actually put it on medium and now it turns out we can actually see the characters um, I only started one scene you'll see it now um, I don't know if it works completely but yay we can actually see people now and I hope um, you don't mind too much I mean I didn't I really I had no idea it was supposed to look different and not like shadowy and uh, yeah but um, <laughs> it's my first let's play so cut me some slack and um, I hope you're still enjoying the game and um, you know it's like like online dating uh, let's just not focus on on the looks so much right no I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks for watching again and thanks for sticking around, hopefully, um, maybe it's just me watching my own let's play, but thanks Laurie for sticking around. Um, yeah, I guess we should just start, um, less talking, more playing, I think I already talked for like three minutes, but yes, let's start. Last time we showed our really cool hacking skills by getting a QR code to authorize ourselves uh, with, with Phaedra and this time we're playing with this dude um, and we're starting our investigation with Donovan. So you're the yutz who's been writing nonsense about tag fighting with everyone before he dies. Look how he looks! <gasps> the dog! The person! Yes! Oh my god, interesting things happening. Now we can finally see the doggy! Um, okay. So, um... Yes. Um, it's news. I'm not big on Hollywood gossip, but people in Cyprus need still find it interesting. I suppose it could have been worse. Anything you want to add? I'd like to hear your side. Give us the gossip. I feel like I say that every time. I just say that it was an honor and a privilege to work with Tag. He'll be missed. Where did the doggy go? <gasps> oh, I thought. There it is! Evening, Jack. Remy's sorry. Not holding right now. Um. What is he holding? He's holding something. I'm not really looking for that right now. You want anything else? Scout burger? Fries? Warm mayonnaise pie? Ew. Warm mayonnaise pie. Ugh. Ugh. I want a raccoon burger and strawberry ice cream. Um. Is that actually a thing? Remy trying new menu experiments. Next time, shrimp in a used diaper. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, there's a typo. <laughs> Finding all the typos. And the box, apparently. But it's okay. Still a good game so far. People bugging you with lots of questions about Tag Kern? Remy, guess that goes with the territory. 
You got some? Um... How do you feel about Kern's death? Remy liked Kern's early movie. Remy not a fan of Meech, of course. Still, Remy didn't want him dead. Okay. Maybe Tag was right. I just didn't want to let go. Aww. Why the struggle? Because he was bad and bad. I keep saying that wrong. Be bad and bad. I thought he'd finally put me ahead of his devotion to the Church of Us. Hmm. Aren't all actors narcissistic? How do you get past his ultimate devotion to himself? A girl can dream, Mr. Bellet. Okay, thanks for nothing. <gasps> Are we getting to know the dog? Well, son of a bitch. It's just one happy reunion after another in Chief Roadside's Wonderland. Ooh. You're not still pissed about high school, are you? What if they have been best friends or something? I wonder if the shadow thingy was on high or something, if this would look better too, but yeah, it just doesn't work apparently for my program. Really, I'm more angry about the jail time. You stuff your drugs in my locker and let me take the fall. <gasps> oh my god. That was a dick move on my part, yeah. A big regret. Among many. Wow. Tuck that apology in your porter's notebook, slide the pen in the spine, and jam it all up your ass. Oh, come on. I don't think your dog would approve of that sight. Monroe. Ooh, submit a report. Did we even find out anything? I don't feel like we did. Um, Gordon Corderay told Jack Ballard that Tag Kern is generous in both life and death after reports of an insurance policy windfall. Uh, Director Donovan Miller told Jack Ballard that he was honored to work with Blah. Boring. Remy Dixon told Jack Ballard that he. Uh huh. Nobody cares about those. Tina Gray told Jack Bell that she held out hope that she could win Kern. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this generosity thing? Kern true to the end. Church of Us official Gordon Cordray commented that Tag Kern has been generous in death as he was in life. Current insurance policy created a tidy windfall for the church. Let's just go with that. <sighs> yeah? Let's not write too much about the church of us, okay? I hear you, boss. Oh my god. I'm doing everything wrong. Yes! Let's do this again. Woo! I wonder why he was slid before and not the others. Oh well. I spent a lot of my childhood hanging out here. Now, it's where Remy Dixon hooks me up with my fix. Oh my god, what? Do I now have to decide what he's addicted to? Uh, he seems like a... Um... Cocaine, Not sure where he gets it, but it's better than powdered donuts. What if you just put the cocaine on donuts? Then you get like donut and cocaine? That seems like a good choice. So here I am, back at the Mohawk Inn. Woo! I'm still curious about a few things. Me too. The more I chase the story Ross wants, the crankier I get. I know I'm paid to do the work he wants. I get that. But I'm a journalist. No matter how far I've fallen from my golden boy days, I don't want to run from real news. Maybe he'll fire me. Maybe that's okay. Aww. Or I could grab dinner at Jamal's taco truck and leave a stinky delivery on Ross's desk along with my two-word resignation. No, <laughs> what? Oh, uh, he can bring the, the shrimp and the diaper. Better dig a little more while I'm still employed. Let's see what Rutledge Silloway can offer in the way of news.
Hey, Rutledge. Evening, Jack. Ross got you working the tag Kern story like everybody else? Yup. Kern's the corpse of the hour. <laughs> Must suck for you hunting sloppy seconds behind that blogger girl. <gasps> um, was she here first? I, I'm a bit confused about the timeline, but... Like it must suck to be an ancient tourist trap off a busy highway. Ooh. Sad but true. More folks drive by here in a day than used to go by in a year. We're lucky if a dozen stop by to refuel or grab a snack. Time passes us all by, and we're left munching dust and love bugs in its wake. Sad to see you settling for some out-of-towner's scraps. I'm more interested in what's going on with Golden Cypress. How's that news? Everyone knows the development's coming. Mm-hmm. Not everyone knows that Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean are conspiring to ram a pipeline through Cypress Swamp. We're just telling everyone about that. Now, now, Jack, you want to be careful going around with your mouth half-cocked like that. Half-cocked. <clears throat> um... You shouldn't feel threatened by the truth or you've done nothing wrong. If you say so. Depends on how you spin it. How's Ross feel about it? Um... Well, he was kind of against it, right? But... We can just lie about that. Um... He's all for it. Somehow, I doubt that. You know nothing! Rudledge Silhouette. Bye. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rodledge Silhouette told Jack Ballot that despite more cars on the highway, business is slow. Lame. Rodledge Silhouette gave Jack Ballot a warning about covering the Golden Cypress development. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Are we, like, giving, like, is this a story we write? <laughs> I'm really confused. Um... Uh, Golden Vibes for development. Local business owners are hopeful that Golden Cypress received good PR despite the rumor of malfeasance. Sources indicate the local economy could use the influx of revenue. Yeah. Hi, Ross. You get my story? I told you to stay off Golden Cypress. No one cares. If no one cares, no one reads the notice. If no one reads the notice, you have no job. Oh my god! Oh my god, we gotta get him fired. But the other stuff sounded so boring. I mean, they're obviously a boring newspaper, so I don't know. Okay, I guess next time we're gonna stay, stick with the dead guy. Crystal, but... No buts, Jack, except yours. Kick to the curb. I'm serious. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Jesus, what a dick. Oh my god. Can it be more obvious that he's in Buckingham's pocket? Yes, that's what I was wondering. Like, what if he's actually in on the action? He's like, no, don't talk about this topic. But actually, he's like, in on it. If anyone's got it worse than me in this world, it's gotta be Jim Larman. Well, at least he seems to enjoy his job. Oh, okay. Um... Got busted for statutory rape and drug charges after a cocaine-fueled night with a teenage girl. Okay, I don't like him anymore. Fucking Jim. I learned the hard way not to piss off the wrong woman. At least I lived to tell the tale. Uh, maybe you should just not, like, rape people. Like, that pisses people off too. What a dick. <gasps> um. So KC Gaddis came to town. You boys get all caught up? Something like that. I always liked KC. Good heart in that kid. If he likes him, KC is probably stupid. You ever hear from that girl who landed you in prison? Not since the trial decades ago. Why would she even talk to him? What kind of question is that even? 
by. Looks like somebody finally escaped from the bathroom. <laughs> Eula Dean, town planner for Cypress Knee. Gary Buckingham's co-conspirator. Um, I do Be have nice questions. to get her side of the scandal. Hi, I understand Eula. your concerns, Jack. But can't you see how good Golden Cypress would be for our town? Um... Don't come looking for me to shake pom-poms at this little bonfire of yours. It's important that you're on board for this, Jack. Don't lose sight of what matters most. You want the best for Reggie, right? We only want strawberry ice cream for him, okay? Just like your dress is such beautiful strawberry color. Um... It's about ethics, Yola. I hate compromising what I stand for. Deal with reality. If Golden Cypress dies on the vine, your newspaper survives another year. Maybe two. The project goes forward. You're looking at a real boost in circulation. That's a hard truth, and maybe you're right. But I'm not wired to lie to my readers. Bam. I hope we can count on your support going forward. No. I need to be able to look at myself in the mirror every day. Probably he's gonna get fired and killed. Jack Bellet, we must talk. Okay. He's always been mostly harmless. Plus, still no rush to get back to the office. Where am I? Red Eclipse. I it's going to end in a cataclysm, Jack. <gasps> Oh my god. Everybody deals with their own personal apocalypse sometimes. The spirits grow angrier. They will lay waste to the abominations that fester here. Um... If I were them, I'd be pissed too. Flee, Jack Bellet. Take your family and escape this place while it remains within your power to do so. <laughs> I like how he's like, Flee, Jack Bellet! Flee! He Let's a bit not like go Gandalf. overboard with the melodrama. When the time comes for regrets, remember, you were warned. Oh, of course. Like in every story, there's always this Native American who's like, "Oh my God, there's something happening. Dark clouds are coming." Roger that. Oh wow, you're the newspaper reporter, huh? Finally, we can see her, and she looks so cool. Let me guess. Fan rage blogger? Must suck to be you. <laughs> Yay! I've never gotten over how Bellet framed me with those drugs in my locker. Yeah, that's really not cool. We'd been pals until that spring. Cost me graduating with the rest of the class. I had to settle for a GED. Well, at least you got a doggy. Look, he's so cute. Now I can really see his ears and his little tail. <laughs> past is past. Gotta wrap up this investigation, take the studio's money, and think about what's next. Yeah. Maybe Miller's jerking me around. That check ought to go a long way towards soothing my pride. And buying dog candy. Come on, Monroe. Blip, 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 blip. I'm pretty sure Rut doesn't allow pets in his motel. Well, he's not a ferret, at least. I'm just working the current case for Red Eclipse Studios. Barely sure they'd find bed bugs picking at my bones by morning if I stayed here. <laughs> You're Casey Gaddis, right? I am. Sure feels like it most days. I knew your daddy back in the day. Your mama, too. Oh my god, are you our real father? Um. Didn't you sell them the piece of shit used Buick? <laughs> I'll have you know that was a quality automobile with a top of the line cataclysmic converter. Mm hmm. I think you mean catalytic converter. 
ain't got nothing to do with someone freezing up in shock. So Jefferson Dean Gallant tells me y'all want to knock down his house and tear up the swamp for a natural gas pipeline. Uh -oh. Our ex-mayor's a real drummer queen sometimes. <laughs> You're such a drama queen. Don't you mean drama queen? I ain't got nothing to do with seasickness. <laughs> Is Gallant telling the truth? He's blowing it way out of context. I mean, yeah, his shack may suffer some structural indignity issues, but he can build another shack. I suspect you meant structural integrity issues. Ain't got nothing to do with insurance policies. Look at my dog. Come in, come in. Fifty dollars a night, no pets. That means no dogs. No ferrets either. Um... I'm not looking for a room, Mr. Silloway. Have we met? Have we met? Ooh, what's this? Sort of. You set a cross on fire in my family's front yard back in the day. Oh my god, what's wrong with all these people here? I mean, the other guy is like a rapist, he's like a racist. What the fuck? I am an upstanding member of the Cypress Knee Chamber of Commerce. Never been in the clan. Um... It was a windy night. You didn't wear a chin strap. The hood flew off. Wasn't me, friend. Could have been my twin brother Doyle. He ran with that crowd before they made him mayor. Oh. Um... This big development across the road could boost Chief Road Sides. Maybe. Might be the last nail in our coffin, too. Oh, of course, they might buy me out. That'd be fine. Okay. Mom. Hi, Mom. Keith Calloway, yes. You're home for the first time in, what, five years? And I found out from Chief Pendleton's wife. Sorry. <sighs> Meant to call. I got distracted. Sorry. Your work's important. I'm just an old retired mama in an empty nest. Don't you worry about me. Stop being such a drama queen. I won't leave town without seeing you. Better not. You'll make your mama cry. Don't mama. worry. Casey Gaddis, it's been way too long, man. Good to see you again. <laughs> now, every time we see someone, I'm like, Ooh, who is this? And we met them like five times before, but since I never saw you, oh well. And now at least we got to make up our minds about people before we met them. So, um, yes, but uh, the time's up for this episode and um, I will end it here and we will continue with this conversation next time so thanks again for watching and i hope uh, the whole shadow thing uh, wasn't too bad and you're happy to see the characters um as much as i am now and uh, i hope it just gets better from now on so thanks again for watching and have a nice day bye